makes me crazy. I dream of trying to play with Gazing them days and contagious, show my baby. We know each other like the back of our hands. Understand, there's no mistake and I'm taking this show my dream. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. <laughs> back in the building. Back in effect. Back, Back like, like we, we never left. left. And family, we appreciate y'all for pulling up and tuning in. Yeah. We got a good one for y'all today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to be jumping to something new. This is this is actually the Goddesses of Bagpipes. Uh, the title of this song is Shipping Up to Boston, Enter the Sandman. Yeah. So I think it might be like a slash cover, uh, Shipping Up to Boston and Enter the Sandman. Okay. Okay. A bagpipe cover. So I know. Okay. So I'm assuming it's bagpipe covers. But... Yeah. I gotta give a big shout out to Cali by Yukon, okay? Shout um, out to Cali for this one. Cali! <laughs> the Snake Charmer Goddesses sorry, Cali, of sorry. Bagpipe. Yeah, okay. So he said that this is a Hindu girl covering Enter the Sandman on Celtic bagpipes on the streets of Mumbai, India. Okay. I hope I'm saying that right. Mumbai. Mumbai? Mumbai. Okay, yeah, so. I'm excited to get into this. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join the family. Absolutely. All right. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, y'all. Let's go ahead and start this pull-up session. Let's see Let's what Kelly got us getting into today, babe. All right. Do you have a metronome? I do. But I have to warn you, it's cursed. <laughs> Whatever. What? Oh no, I, I'm I'm not too good with these metronomes. Yeah, yeah, that that it could be cursed. It, it could have like some kind of evil spirit attached to that. That's just the thing that keeps the beat. It could be cursed. <laughs> it could be cursed. I then I you mean, gotta be careful now. You need to go to the you need to go to the music store. <laughs> okay. Don't go to the thrift store. sound of the bagpipe <laughs> I do too. I, i've always kind of been you know fascinated with the bagpipes just because the, the actual sound that comes out yeah and not just that but i've never known like how anybody i've never known anybody personally that plays the bagpipe yeah same every time i've seen somebody play it i'm like well how do they what is that and they put that right here and they play that like it, it's, it's such an unorthodox type of instrument to me 
to I try would, to play. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. I, what are all those extra things? Is that where all the sound coming out at? I, babe, that's three, one thing I cannot tell you anything about. That We didn't have those in band. <laughs> Those are different. They're completely different. I like, I mean, that like you, I also enjoy listening to the sound. It is one of those type of intriguing type of sounds just because of how it's actually played. And nonetheless, it's like, I'm kind of really just mesmerized by the, the look of the instrument in itself. Like it, it just kind of boggles your mind a little bit how that sound, that sound comes out of that instrument. But I don't know really what the breakdown of it is. If I kind of knew more about it than then maybe I wouldn't be so like fascinated with watching them play, yeah. but I'm just like so stuck on watching them play. You know what I mean? Nonetheless, like they are killing it. People stared at them, y'all. Like she's like, and, I you know, go here. <laughs> and another part that I like is as far as like you know they're all from like different countries and stuff like that, but they're all kind of playing in unison. That's kind of what I'm picking up too. They're all from different countries too. Are they? Yes. I gotta go back like 10 seconds. I, I gotta go back, sorry. Yeah. Would you well, be out of breath? It looks like heck You saw yes. how the answer kind of like I, I know that I know that they got it under control because they've been doing it, but at, at the end right there, I would have been like like just uh. I wonder like do you play <laughs> I don't know. It maybe I'm just Man. like I said, I'm watching too hard, but like she at one point it looked like she had it to the side of to the side of her mouth and then another point it looked like she was actually playing like right in front of like right in front of her mouth. But man, wow. You know what though? I got to give it up to them. Like one, just being ladies of the art in general. Okay. They just killed that. But I mean, they all looked amazing. I love the fact that they kind of like implemented like that bad girl sexy. You know what I mean? Like even, you know what I mean? Just to say that it's just kind of like one of those things where I'm like, wow, like, man, they just, they just did the dang on thing with that. Yeah. I really actually I legitimately enjoy listening to it. just hearing it in a different different context, different sound, different It had a whole different type of feel to it. Yeah, everything about it. But just I by mean, using the bagpipes too. Yeah, yeah. And they just did a they just did a great job in general. I really I really enjoyed this. Very different obviously than what we normally like would listen to or or just, you know, a lot of prob a lot of probably a lot of people probably would naturally gravitate towards, but just to hear something different some mm. new, something fresh, a different sound. Like they did that. Yeah, they did that. Even the first song, <laughs> "Shipping Up to Boston," that they did. I don't completely know that song. I think it's by uh, Dropkick Murphys. Mm -hmm. Was the first cover that they did, and then they did Metallica "Enter the Sandman." I think both of them were really, really good. Especially like when they got into "Enter the Sandman." It's like you, when when I start hearing it because it, you know I, I know it so well. It's like I started singing along in my head with the words mm -hmm. and and they had it like right on key like they were spot on as far as like the tone uh the way they're supposed to sound to where it's just like when you add it in like the guitar sound with it i'm just like man that's fire yeah it's fire and for them to do it with the bagpipes because 
I like I like like the Irish feel, the I the I that Irish sound in regards to like the bagpipes. I always like I said I've been intrigued with the sound. So for me to see like a cover of them doing like rock songs, yeah, this is my first time ever hearing someone do a cover, <laughs> a bagpipe cover to a rock song, yeah. and, and it was everything. Same. It was like you saw me up here getting crunk. Like I was like, <laughs> whoa, okay, because that, you know they kind of caught that feeling. That I kind of caught that vibe. I am curious though how they put this together though because if 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 they're all in different places I'm wondering mm-hmm. how they were able to kind of put this together to make it sound the way that they did like I mean obviously I would think they probably worked together to do that but I'm just curious to know how they kind of coordinated that yeah. and I'm now now I'm saying that they're in different countries now I don't know as far as like if they're an actual group that actually worked together but they broke it down to where one was in India the other was in America somebody else was in another country you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the like the one the, like the one lady she was in India. That's why you you could you could tell like she was in, in the streets of India. The snake charmer and the goddess of bagpipe. Mm-hmm. The goddesses. Goddesses. Mm-hmm. So oh so the snake charmer is probably the one that was like the 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 one that looked like she was on the ranch and the goddesses of bagpipes are the two girls that look like they were actually in India. Um, Playing the they, bagpipes. They were in two different places, but they are still in the same they're both the goddesses of bagpipes I, I think are in India the one chick the one girl with the she had a, a different color skirt her skirt was different she had the reddish hair mm-hmm. I think that's the snake charmer okay her she has an American name gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I'm just my guess you know what yeah I, mean? I don't know I don't know so, I don't know I could be I could be wrong but that would be my guess of of those two, the, the goddesses of bagpipe, those two are like a group, I bet, like a duo. Yeah, this was this was like, this was new. Yeah. Again, like I said, I love the sound of the bagpipe. I just never knew somebody could like alter and change a rock song and it sound this good. Yeah, especially with bagpipes. You gotta be super talented yeah. just to do that with any type of instrument to be able to duplicate and do a cover to a you know to a song that's not even in your genre. Yeah. You know what I mean? That skill. Man, man, shout out to Cali for this one. Open up your horizons, okay? There's more music out there to listen to. Yeah, I'm saying I just I just appreciate the diversity in regards to just the music selection for sure. Yeah, that part. So hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, join the family. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. Peace and blessings. Bye. Dust in your body, boy.